I'm Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews. Now, have you ever wondered what the difference between a hammer drill driver and a drill driver are? We're going to take a look at that today with the design, and then we're going to take it outside and look at performance to see if you actually need that hammer function. All right, so to take a look at the differences between the hammer drill driver and a drill driver, I've got Milwaukee's 2804. It's their Gen 3 M18 fuel hammer drill. And I've only got one tool here, even though we're talking about the differences between two. And that's because these two tools are so closely related to each other that you almost can't tell the difference. In fact, on this model, the specs are almost identical. Now this model specs out with 1200 inch pounds of torque and 2000 RPM at the top speed. Now, the only other difference between the 2804 that I've got here and the 2803 drill driver is this has a hammer mechanism in it, and that's going to give you 32,000 beats per minute for the hammer mechanism itself. Now, that's just something that's sitting right in here underneath this housing, and it's a mechanism that pushes the bit forward as it rotates around. And so that chiseling motion that you get while you're drilling helps to chip through concrete better than just drilling alone. Now, in terms of the controls, Milwaukee uses a single collar here, and you've got your clutch settings around the front, and then you work around to the drilling setting. Now, if this were the 2803, the drill driver, you'd stop there. But since this is a hammer drill, we can click it one position more, and now we're in hammer drill mode, and we've engaged that mechanism that's there. As far as the size and weight goes, they're almost identical. It's just a little bit more length and a little bit more weight, and I'm talking very little bit compared to the drill driver, and that's the case for almost every manufacturer. In fact, some of them have actually got the mechanism in there so that there's no length difference whatsoever. So as far as the general size and weight and function goes, that's it. So all that's left to do is let's take it outside and chip through some concrete and see what kind of difference we get. All right, so normally Clint and I would do this side by side and just use two drills and go at the same time, but we're practicing some safe social distancing right now, so he's behind the camera. He's also got a stopwatch for me so we can time this. Now, I've got a, a concrete bit, a multi-purpose bit in here, and we're in high speed, and I'm in drill driver mode. So this should be slower if everything works the way we expect it to. But let's see how much of a difference this makes. Now this flag on the end of the bit is just going to tell me when to stop so I go to the same depth for both drills, for, uh, for both holes. All right. And I'll try to put the same amount of pressure on both as I'm drilling down. All right, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. All right. 864. 864. Now flip it over into hammer drill mode and see if we can beat 864. Oh, that hole's already there. All right, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Six forty-one. Six forty-one. So more than two seconds difference by using that hammer mechanism in here. So that's pretty significant. Now this is a quarter inch bit that we're using. So obviously, if you're using something a little larger, the time savings are going to be even better. And that loud noise that you could hear during the hammer drill, that was the mechanism engaging. And we said we said thirty-two thousand beats per minute. You almost can't hear the difference from one to the next. But that's what was making that noise, and that's what's making the difference. So, you got any questions about the differences between a hammer drill and a drill driver? Feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'm Kenny. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.